There's dignity in this desiccated skull, pale sheep's head sinking into a lumpy field. Perhaps her ancestors turned their narrow eyes on Hadrian's soldiers, watching them obsessive at their ant-like tasks. The fierce fear of the invader is urgent, wind sharp. The ridged horns wiggle in gloved hands as I twist the strong curves under grey light. There's some enduring potency in these firm lines of nose bones stretching to the mandible, and ancient rhythms in this fine zigzag fusing the skull plates. The museum boasts a well-designed tool. An archaeologist has labelled this grimy fragment. Through the glass we read its function, its reticence prized open, and in the next case our empty leather strips of Lucillus's boot and threads of Maximilian's cloak, but no bones, that would be too close for comfort. Perhaps the legions longed for southern suns to warm the stones and bronze their skin. Their son, of course, were born here, bred the sheep, enslaved the untamed land. On vacant folds of grazed hills, today's sheep ignore my pondering. Scattered white bones record a common end.